G'day and welcome to another video with Better Peaks. Hope this finds you all well. If you're like me, you pay particular attention to the layout of any piece of software that you might be using. Because the more, I guess, accustomed or used to that particular layout you can become, or the more that you can refine it and have it designed or laid out in the way that you specifically want it to, the quicker and more efficiently you can work. The less you're looking for the tools that you need and the quicker you can get the job done. And in the case of photography, the quicker you can go out and keep shooting some more images, hopefully in some beautiful places. So the layout of all of the tabs and tool options within Photoshop is called the workspace. And if you have a look up the top here with window and workspace, you can see that there's some options there. I've currently got photography selected because that's the one that best works for the way that I work with uh, Photoshop. Um, you can obviously change things around a little bit. There's different options. Uh, if you go to motion, that's obviously if you're working with video. If you go to workspace and you go to graphic and web, you can see that it just brings up different tabs that might be relevant to the work that you would be doing. Under Essentials, you can see that it minimizes uh, everything so that it's quite small. And this is particularly good if you're working on a monitor that's not too big because it means that you've got more real estate available for the image itself. However, if you work with a, a second or even a third monitor um, the way that I do, then selecting something like photography where you have uh, some of those options expanded means that those tools are at the ready at any time that you may need them. The wonderful thing about the workspace is you can also reset photography if you make some changes while you're working or you can create a new workspace which you can then name whatever you like it to be. The best thing about this is that you then can continue that process of customizing your layout or your workspace to exactly the way that you want it. You can see here for capture, the panel locations will be saved in this workspace. Keyboard shortcuts, menus and toolbar are optional. So you can include the shortcuts, menus and toolbar if you want to, so that you're really um, pinning down exactly the features and what is available within your workspace the way that you want it to be. If we go up to workspace again, you can delete the workspace as well if it's just not working for you. And you can also lock the workspace. So some fantastic features there for you to be able to really hone down your workspace, make it as efficient as possible, and have the tools that you use most commonly readily available at any time. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for stopping by. As always, any questions in the comments below are welcome. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.